Welcome to Adobe Live. I'm here with Chris Bernay, and I'm your host, Christine Arth, and we are here to focus on some graphic design and packaging today. That's right. I'm pretty excited. Welcome, Chris. Thank you. You're not nervous or anything, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freaking out, but it's OK. I'm going to be OK. OK, Maybe one more high five. Yeah, another one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> here we go. We are super <laughs> excited to be here. We were both just laughing off the screen, saying like, yeah, piece of cake. No worries. We'll just go live and figure it out all as we do. Um, so anyways, today we are going to talk through some packaging. Uh, Chris is coming from Ecuador, and um, he's going to show us some of the brands that he's worked on most recently. Uh, he also has some props and examples of some of these brands, which we were just shuffling through, which is pretty exciting. Um, but uh, along with that today, we are going to be doing a giveaway uh, for a very awesome plush pillow. So keep posted. Nice. We are going to be looking at some uh, of the challenges later today. So definitely get excited because we're going to give away a Creative Cloud subscription um, to one of you lucky winners who submits the creative challenge of today. And that is to design an Earth Day logo and place it on a water bottle in Dimension. So we're going to be focusing on using Photoshop, Illustrator, and then applying that in Dimension as we look through packaging. And Chris is going to be demonstrating that over the next three days. So get excited. Um, he has some amazing packaging designs that he's already created in his uh, past life, which is the current life. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm super thrilled to. Um, Get to have Chris here. Okay. Yeah, let's let's take us through some of the stuff that you brought today. Okay, I have something to show on my iPad Pro. So, I'm Chris Bernay. I'm from Buenos Aires. Yeah, tell us a little bit about. Uh, I'm a kind of nomad. Yeah. I was living around in different places, traveling for the last two years and a half already. Oh, amazing. But in July, I'm coming back home. Back so, home to? Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. That's right. Is anyone out there from Buenos Aires tuning in today? I hope you have family watching. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, Transgressor. Hi, Impro. Jody, Hector, Omen, Chris, everybody Tim. Loves everybody loves here. Yeah, everybody loves a pillow. Hi, Hector. Everybody wants a pillow. Hi, Hector. <laughs> 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 yes, so many pillows. Um, yeah, so we have a lot of people tuning in from all over. Minneapolis, Minnesota, hola, Chris, yep. Sebastian, hello, Argentina, Buenos Aires, right. yeah, Brian is Laura. from Buenos Aires. Nice. Laos, oh, she's Lao. the next one. Oh, Lao, yeah, Lao, <laughs> of course, Lao's going to be here next. We have two Argentinians right now. Nice. All right, cool. Well, it looks like your iPad's oh. up and going, and we've got some uh, oh, fruit packaging going on. <laughs> yeah, right? You're like, I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> now I can see it. So. I create an interactive deck Ooh, nice. with Adobe XD. I did my homework. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to be sharing, I'm going to tell you the schedule yes. I have in mind for the next three days. Perfect. And then I'm going to be sharing the brief, the mood board, and the references. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be talking a little bit about Barrick Culture as one of my case studies for nice. this. So. so he's a man with a plan. Yep. <laughs> so on day two today, Ooh. We're going to be working on logotype design for products. Look at this. Yeah. This is so pro. <laughs> Fancy. Yeah, right? <laughs> I'm going to write down all the notes of what I need to do next time. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so as a case study, I'm going to be talking about Burger Culture. It's a North Carolina's brewery. Mm -hmm. brewery. And then I'm going to be sharing the liberables. And I have kind of questions for people watching oh, right great. now. Yeah. Nice. And then we have the contest. Tomorrow, we're going to be working on packaging design. We're going to be doing the packaging design of this logo type we're working today. And our case study is going to be Puta Fruta. It is an apple juice from Patagonia, Argentina. Nice. Yeah, and tasty. Ooh. <laughs> and the last day, we're going to be working on presentation for clients and presentation for getting leads. Nice. So we're going to be mostly focused working on Photoshop and Dimension on day number three. Amazing. Yeah. So let's start with a, with a brief. Yeah. This is incredible. Look at this interactive print. Do you do this all the time? This is totally normal, no. right? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> He's like, hold on. Let me just show you all I, my skills. Actually, yeah. I'm, I'm, 
Take notes, everyone. <laughs> this is going to be good. <laughs> My wife has fun of me all the time because she said, like, I'm pretty nerdy. Yeah? Yeah, I am. I'm going to so. agree with her. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm addicted to XD already. I love it. It's a presentation for the presentation. It's, this is amazing. Yeah, it, yeah. And it's great for presenting your yeah, work for exactly. clients, indeed, because you're going to surprise them. Like, oh, whoa. Totally. They're going to be like, oh, you're not just creative. You're a professional. Creative. It is not a boring PowerPoint. That's right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's like, yay, nerds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Absolutely. Nerds unite. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to be working on a flavor soda made mm -hmm. with exotic fruits. Nice. Uh, our audience is going to be pretty young people between mm -hmm. the 80 years old and 30s, active people pursuing the authenticity to being unique and, mm -hmm. in the world. And this product's gonna be something between premiums and regular sodas. Mm -hmm. And the attitude or the tone of voice is gonna be playful, urban, spontaneous, and disruptive. I like it. Disruptive, especially. I think that's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah I love disruptive. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. the name of the product is gonna be Sham, uh, Sham. For those who does not know what Ooh, Sham means, it yeah. means fake. Fake? Yeah. Oh, nice. So we're making <laughs> fake soda? Yeah, we're going to make a fake soda. This is kind of like Tab. Do you remember Tab from yeah, like the 80s? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, totally artificial <laughs> beverage. I'm from the 70s. <laughs> yeah, me, me too, kind of. Look at my <laughs> You're like, <wires>. uh. <laughs> So, this is a brief, brief, actually. So, I used to hate the long, endless brief. I agree. Because I'm a graphic brief. designer, yeah. I don't like to read all the time. Yeah. So it is like you receive all this ton of pages from a brief and you get you need a couple of days for understanding all Totally. <laughs> well this is like perfectly captured in one page, which is I think all you really need for a very solid brief is one page. Yeah, what I yeah. what I put here was what I got more focus in mm -hmm. on every brief. I need to know specifically all these things. Yeah, exactly. And it is more important, not about the brief, it is more about, I have a, I'm a kind of a philosophical all the time. Mm -hmm. We are not used to work for our clients. We're used to work for our clients' clients. Exactly, the Our consumer. clients' audience. Yeah. Our consumers, clients, uh, users. So many times we, we are, we are used to try to convince or we are worried about if our clients are happy or not, mm -hmm. but we don't need uh, them to be happy. We need their clients or consumers or audience to be happy about mm -hmm. our work. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is true life advice said by Chris <laughs> Bernay. If you guys are just tuning in now, this yeah. is better than Tony Robbins, so just stay here if you're a designer. You're going to get a lot of really good life advice on writing a brief so that you can succeed. <laughs> but it's important because you, you need to advise your clients many times. Totally. Because they think they understand their audience and many times they have no idea yeah. about their audience. Or at least like helping to put perspective around who mm -hmm. the audience is and why you're going to do said mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. And this definitely helps. It, um, it, puts you within a good box that mm -hmm. then you can explore yeah, with them. That's right. Yeah. And you don't need to understand the product, so not the brief. If you're hired by Rolls Royce, for example, I'm uh -huh. not a Rolls Royce no. customer for sure. I mean, I obviously drive <laughs> I a Rolls Royce, to. but you know, <laughs> I'm not a customer. It was but given to me. <laughs> if you if you're contact and Rolls Royce hire you, yes. you need to drive one. Totally. You need to understand the product. You need to know. Mm -hmm. And the brief is not enough. The brief's not enough. You just need to understand why the weather the the weather the, the letter is better than a Ford letter. I agree. It just <laughs> We need to know taste. you guys. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So our flavors, oh, sorry, the landscape, the competitor landscape. Mm -hmm. This is not only about knowing the, the, what is going on in the market, it mm -hmm. is where do you want to place your product yes. in that universe or landscape. So I put the sham between San Perugino and then swap uh, swaps and 7-Up and mm -hmm. all the rest, regular sodas. And what is pitaya? Pitaya, it's pitahaya, and you know it as a dragon fruit. Oh, dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Ooh, it's super. It's pretty tasty. Yeah. It is a fruit from Ecuador. I, nice. I discovered this fruit in Ecuador. Yeah. And I choose it because of the taste and the colors. Yeah, the, it's pink, right? It's, and then green on the inside? It's or? an intense pink. Yeah. Um, white and mm, 
with little, oh, with the little black spots. Black seeds. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so it's super perfect cool. For yeah. Creating something. People are like, ooh, mi gusto. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Victor Aires. <gosh>. Yes. <laughs> Victor is very excited. He's like, Kataya. <laughs> okay. Amazing. The mood board. It's a brief mood board as well. Mm -hmm. So, what I used to put on the mood board is just trying to explain. The mold, what what it feels like, the look and feel. It is not about the design, but yeah. it's more about understanding the consumers, the colors. But it is not specific. We're gonna use just like this pink. It is more like we are going to be working in something pinkish. Yes. You know what I mean. Exactly. So here it is you have the the fruit just right there. Beautiful mm -hmm. colors and Beautiful. great contrast. Has yeah, contrast. it's so <laughs> interesting. It, it almost looks fake. It's so perfect. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it's still really wild, which mm -hmm. is awesome. That's right. And then we have the consumers, pre young people, practicing sport, pre active, mm -hmm. doing street dance and all the stuff. Then I expand this universe with the references. Ooh. So I just collect. This is a brief references as mm -hmm. well. So I just collect some stuff. I really like all the dots or all these these things in the in the melmog yeah. thing i love the colors of frutaria mm -hmm. in the pinkish one i don't know how to show you <laughs> you're like this one <laughs> <laughs> somewhere else <laughs> so and i like the, the kind of street art in the in the lettering style yeah so that's that's what i have in mind so but first i'm going to show you a case study now Nice. Because I think it is important to show to our viewers mm -hmm. uh, the real world, what is happening in the real world. Yeah, definitely. I think they're, they're going to get a lot out of yeah. this. So, Especially to see a little bit of the process and to understand what was before and yeah. after. So, what is here? Let me check this out. Oh, I need it. Hey, Voodoo Val, oh. Stephanie, Alessio, Tim, Victor, JC. Man, got a lot of people in there. Lucas. Yeah, Lucas likes dragon fruit. This is great. Doo, doo, doo. Okay. Okay, let's start here. We can use. Yeah, Kat says here. it's very good to see the process. I agree. Oh. It's always fun to see another designer's process as well as um, knowing what oh, helps I need to them. Sign up. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Uh oh, signing in. Oh, we got it. Cool. <laughs> So, so while Chris signs in, <laughs> so that we can see the case study, um, I'm just curious where what everybody's doing right now. Are you guys at work? Are you designing along? Are you maybe skipping work? <laughs> <laughs> skipping work. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hiding on the bathroom. Yeah, right. They're just watching, watching you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we are. Borough Culture is a brewery from North Carolina. Mm. I was working with them when I was living in Costa Rica. Wow. On the Golden Coast of, of Costa Rica. Nice. And they contacted me through Behance. Amazing. The guy who contacted me was Steve. He's the brewmaster. And he told me the story behind the Borough Culture. It is not a regular beer. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is why I'm start thinking about you don't need to understand your client, but you need to understand the audience. Oh yeah. And the products. And I thought that I understand uh, that I wasn't that I understood this product because it's a craft beer, but mm -hmm. it is not a regular craft beer. Yeah. It is a sour beer, but it is a wild beer. Oh. Yeah, made with blueberries, raspberries, oh, berries. Oh, wild fruits. Yeah, wild oh, fruits. Oh, cool. And they are pretty tasty. Nice. So, this is an example of what we're going to be doing today. And I take some stuff, real stuff. <laughs> I, love I like how you're like, I take some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> did you either, did you take this? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Taking is another word for yeah, dealing I use, it from the client. <laughs> I take things from the client. Yes. <laughs> Watch out, guys. <laughs> so, this logotype is the, the umbrella brand for, for this This brewery. was the... This is, I previous, didn't do that one. Previous one. I did this, this one yes. just for the brewery. Nice. So, it's so main, I'll just do this time. for you guys. If That's you're in North Carolina, if you're in Durham, I highly recommend you visiting this Super brewery. Cool. That's awesome. Everyone's like, is there a beer drinking test? <laughs> 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 yes, we're all telling you to go drink. You will get surprised. <laughs> and you will get surprised. It's kind of beer outstanding. Super funny. So, <laughs> as I told you before, like, Okay, I was working on mood boards and references now in this 
project on Behance and mm -hmm. just collect all and I put all the, the things together. Amazing. And we're doing just these things and I have the book. You can see here. Oh, this is good. I can see this people This is real thing. <laughs> oh, wow. Wonderful. This is the real sketches. So. The labels. Yeah. How they implement the logotype. Real sketches. The sketches on paper. But today we're going to be doing the sketches on the iPad. Amazing. Yeah, new thing. Yeah. I'm pretty surprised. It's, a, it's helping me to save a lot of time yeah, on definitely. the process. But a lot of time in saving hours on the process of tracing mm -hmm. and working on the tailing and the illustrator. Yeah. So it just changed my... Changed the way you work. Yeah, the way yeah. I work. That's so great. yes, I'm going to miss the paper. I love to work on paper, yeah. but it's like... It, it becomes laborious. You need to be more yeah. agile. Mm -hmm. So this is just the case I want to share with you guys. And we're going to start working in just one minute or less. Oh, guys, get ready. One minute or less. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now I'm getting scared for real. <laughs> oh, really? OK, so the pressure's on. Our palms are sweating. We're still going through case Ooh. studies. But you know what? The work's coming. <laughs> No, everybody loves this case study. It's super <laughs> cool. It's really nice to see your process and hand sketch too. But then also, I mean, I still yeah. consider sketching on an iPad hand sketching. It's just yeah, maybe it like lacking real paper material. So. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't mean that it's still not done by hand, which Fence is amazing. Cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Yeah. <laughs> We're here for you. Don't worry. <laughs> Knees weak, arms heavy. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So in the process, after reading brief or improving your brief, yeah. uh, your client's brief, I start working on thumbnailing sketches. Nice. Uh, the thumbnailing sketches is about thinking and tra and just drawing. Yeah. Without thinking so much, just whatever you're thinking on drawing, you just put it you on the paper. Do it. And it's just like that. It's pretty fast. Getting your ideas out. Just like yeah. all of them out so that you can get the good ones out, get mm -hmm. the bad ones out, get everything on paper. <laughs> and never, never erase anything. Yeah. Just everything. It looks ugly. It doesn't matter. You just put it there. It's great advice. And it is pretty bad yeah. like this one. <laughs> and just creep. Yeah, you're like, this one's <laughs> terrible. I'm just going to, you know, cut it out. <laughs> but you, you don't need to erase it. You don't have to. No, this is great. Well, especially when it's digital, you know, mm -hmm. it's like just yeah. throw it in another folder. <laughs> That's <laughs> Delete right. It later. I'm saving time on this on thumbnailing as well because once I have the one, mm -hmm. I don't need to use my scanner anymore yeah. and all this processing of digitalizing all your yeah. drawings. So yeah. it is just like clicking just right here. Nice. Yes, oh, Tim here. Tim just noticed you there was a Paco cameo. <laughs> you just saw him come in. That's you just right. Say, like here is Adobe, Adobe SketchUp. Oh, this and is great. You click here and just open it on the on the Photoshop. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> yeah, it saved me like twenty minutes. Tons of time. It's a lot of time. So when good. When you start using the scanner and then you you arrange all the the yeah, and all the exactly. stuff and you get exactly. it. And, no, that's so just Lindsay's like, asking, do you have certain brushes you prefer with your sketches? Yes, I just use the pencil one. Just pencil. Pencil that's one. It. That's, Love it. It said it. It said it already. Because it's the most natural. Is it just the most, I think, like uh, easy to get what yeah. you're expecting? I'm not good yeah. at drawing, actually. <laughs> really? I don't consider myself really? a good Oh my drawing. gosh. Because you see, everything is Humble, hairy. hairy. This one. <laughs> no, this is hairy. This is <laughs> oh, hairy. Oh, I do that too. I'll it's just, just like, like continuously sketch yeah, over it. Yeah. Sketching yeah. is not good for it. It's because I have a shaky <laughs> hand. I drink too much coffee. <laughs> I drank three coffees a day. Yeah, me too. I live in a coffee country. <laughs> yeah, right now. that's true. It's yeah. Like, ah, coffee, coffee. Oh, man, yeah. And anytime I go to a coffee shop, I ask for a coffee as big as an American likes. <laughs> You're like, I would like the Dunkin' Donuts triple. That's right. <laughs> How amazing. 100 oh, ounces of coffee. <laughs> and then Tim is asking, what software are you using for your sketching? Actually, I'm using uh, Adobe Photoshop Sketch. Adobe Photoshop Sketch. Yeah, awesome. there are some more, but what I like from this one that is, I'm used to work with Photoshop and Illustrator, so yeah, it's so it just it ties than, right in. Yeah, yeah it works all together perfect. Amazing. So about the, the the brushes again, so I use the graphite pencil mm -hmm. with oh, with just a low flow, little transparency and yeah. gray. That's my trick, just Amazing. for emulate my 
realistic plans pencil. You Super. Know? Yeah, it's something like that. <laughs> so, Sherva Mate, Chris Harlich, yes. Her Herletic knows what Sherva Mate. Sherva Mate? Mate, it's like an impression yeah. from Argentina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you like it? Yeah, I, I think it's pretty I'm born good. with that. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. So, oh, Rob wants to know if you uh, microwave your your coffee. Oh, that's my partner. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of had a feeling Rob that was Yalman a very just, specific uh, yeah, question. Yeah, specifically. I was doing that. Do you microwave your coffee? I used to. That's awful. Till ah. Rob Yalin, my that's client, that my dad on, one of, <laughs> on one of our clients, we're get worried about it. Yeah, like, you know, like you. you are, hey, your I'm coffee. not a coffee snob <laughs> by any means. I'll drink DMZ coffee. I don't so care. So <laughs> I stopped doing that. That's good. Thanks for. That's Thanks great. for that, Rob. Yeah, Lau loves your process. She says you're doing great. So, <laughs> from one Argentinian to another, you're doing all right. Thanks, Lau. <laughs> Gonna meet you in a few, actually. Yeah. So. I used to work on thumbnailing. This is more like a thumbnail, it looks like. Mm -hmm. All these just single lines. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I just try different styles on it. Okay. Then I get engaged with one of, all, uh, of those thumbnails mm -hmm. and I work deeper. Gotcha? Yeah. And this in different ways. I tried and tried. They are used to look pretty bad. It is more about your imagination, like, oh, this is gonna work. Right. Because then I'm gonna start working on Illustrator and really trying to nail it on every single detail. And yeah. Core. Oh, this is great. Uh, I agree with Kevin. He's like, nice flow. I'm like, I agree. This is <laughs> awesome to see the process. It's a flow. See. Yeah, it is. It's and just starting from small. Totally. And make it grow. Totally. And for those of you who are just joining us now, we're here with Chris Bernay, and he's going through his process of um, sketching and thumbnailing before he brings things into Illustrator and Photoshop. Um, we also have six and a half minutes until we do our first giveaway, which is the PS Plush Pillow. So, get excited. There's going to be some pillow hype coming up soon. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to make a thumbnail into mm -hmm. the sketch. Oh. Okay, just... This is a great process if you could walk us through it. <laughs> <laughs> so... Everyone at home, listen up. <laughs> So I have this one. Mm -hmm. uh, come on. My need just. Oh, come on. Cool. So you're just enlarging it now to focus on the one that you want. Yeah, I want this one. Right. So I'm gonna work on this one. And you're gonna see like my drawing skills. I'm not pretty good. <laughs> I love again. The so humble. Style. He's like, I'm not very good. <laughs> I'm just you know drawing for a living. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a dentist you would hate if they'd say, they're like, look, I'm not really good at teeth, but open your mouth. <laughs> Everybody wants a pillow. Everybody, Everybody wants as a well. pillow. <laughs> I'm moving back to my house. Yeah, to, you to can Buenos totally Aires, have so a pillow. You have kids, one. right? I yeah, have two kids. Kids need pillows. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, kiddos, I miss them. So great. How old are your kids? One year and a half. He's from to Costa Rica. He's a Tico. Nice. He's born in Costa Rica. Nice. And the other one is from Buenos Aires, and he is six years old. And oh, he's wow. He's probably watching right now. Cool. Yeah. We'll wave hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, let's Nice. Start. I like seeing the detailing of Sham come to life. Cool. Sham <laughs> is another name for pillow, if you all didn't know that out there. <laughs> it's a different kind of pillow, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like totally making myself laugh now. <laughs> you see, it's so yeah. hairy, hairy lines. Yeah, no, it's great though. It is more about understanding the form. Yes, yeah. but it's more about understanding typefaces and typography yeah. than knowing how to draw. I think so too. So I'm more passionate about typefaces and lettering and yeah. understanding the shapes and. You All can really tell, like you, you have a really great eye for the the ebb and flow and the mm -hmm. thickness and thinness of what a calligraphy stroke would be, mm -hmm. um, which is really beautiful. It's beautiful, but it's like funky at the same time. It's funky. You know? Yeah. Yeah. There's something like really funky and like, and that kind of street about it, mm -hmm. even though it's also quite elegant and beautiful. Yes. Tight rigged. 
Pillow cred. Yeah, everybody wants a pillow, man. Well, you've got three <laughs> minutes and 44 seconds before someone gets called out for a pillow, so pretty cool. <laughs> um, and we need a marketplace for Adobe and, and start buying pillows. pillows. <laughs> totally, yeah, right? <laughs> Start selling them on your own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if illustration doesn't work out for you, you can sell pillows from Adobe. <laughs> so I used to create a different layer for each single uh, sign. Mm -hmm. So I have the S. I will name it. Oh, layers so that you can case. separate so them. So then you can then separate and play with them, nice. enlarge That's them. Smart. Or, so so now you're starting on a new layer for the H. That's right. Okay. You can hide the S work on the tailings. Yeah, I actually have never used Adobe Sketch uh, for Photoshop, so this is really cool to see your process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like it's a lot more intuitive for sketching and then importing. This is great. This is about my drawing skill. I cannot use Illustrator for drawing mm -hmm. because it shows how bad I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. That's what's going through my head right now. I'm like, hmm, maybe I should be doing this because I'm not that great at illustrating. <laughs> I'm like, I have some good ideas, but, you know, the shaky hand doesn't quite work. <laughs> so I'm not being humble. It's just like, you don't need a note to draw. Right. You don't need an iPad Pro to make lettering. It's just like... An it's a, your ideas coming to life. It's just like life. an idea, yeah. some knowledge on design and typeface. Yeah. Typefaces and lettering basics. That's all. You don't need to be a, a, a professional drawer. Yeah, you but you have really great calligraphy uh, knowledge, which is but it's definitely going to help. It. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. Because many people ask me about that. Oh, yes, you can do lettering because you know how to draw. Oh. And that's not true. Audrey has an interesting question. Yeah. Um, how long did it take you to get used to drawing on the iPad versus pencil sketching? In the fact of drawing, it's just like the same. Mm -hmm. The thing is about the process when you convert all these drawings into digital. Mm -hmm. So I'm already creating this in digital. So it is just like I just transfer my drawings to my illustrator for tracing on vectors, yeah. just like that. Yeah. And so it's I used immediate. to spend, yeah, I used to yeah. spend a lot of time doing that. Yeah. And so I'm this is saves well. tons of time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like 20 minutes between you set up everything, the scanner, and you have all the papers. Yeah. Oh, actually. It, this it is... eliminates a lot of equipment so yeah. that a studio can just be. And then an the iPad. process, yes, <laughs> it's, it's helped me to save a lot of time. Yes, we have some pillow hype coming up, you guys. I know that you've been waiting for it, but pillow hype is on. We've got about 50 seconds. So if you haven't joined us, join us from YouTube into Behance. Have a hello. Tell us where you're from. And we will show you some sketches, we promise. And then maybe even give you a pillow. <laughs> so when you work on iPad Pro, it helps you to save. It's cool to see these here, too. These. So if you, oh, perfect. Oh, yeah, so right if you, you can see, um, yeah, go yeah, ahead it's and It's all tracing paper, vegetable paper. Mm -hmm. You do the same one, and then you have to redraw everything. Over and over and over again. Every single part of, of, of this. <laughs> pillow hype. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, no, not, not sketches, pillows, pillows. <laughs> this is the thing. They want sham on a pillow, they yeah. said. <laughs> yeah. OK. So we're going to have. Um, Gus sew that on a pillow later in the back, right, Gus? On He's on it. He's on it. <laughs> so, do we have a, a pillow winner? <laughs> do we see this pillow? It's so Ooh, soft, right? Yeah. I know it's like a stuffed animal pillow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty great. I mean. I so it. then, look at this. <laughs> this is all the sketches for Barrack Culture. <laughs> That's a lot of sketches. I have a problem <laughs> when it's storage in my house. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah well, you should take photos of all of them and then get rid of them. <laughs> it's it's an artistic uh, engagement. I know. You cannot do it. I know, it's I know. It's impossible. You have to. It's, you cannot. I mean, like, for the future <laughs> of, your, your, of your rent and all of that, you have to. <laughs> yeah, and this is the final sketch. This is pretty nice. That's beautiful. That's the final one here. That's beautiful. Ooh. Oh, so, here. oh, yeah, super nice. Actually, just right there, yeah. <laughs> I noticed <laughs> that. <laughs> You're like, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have a winner. Would you like to announce? Oh. Or Karik. Or Or Karik. Where is she or where is he from? 
Hmm? France. Oh. Woo! Well, this pillow is going to France. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Great. Yeah. My last name, but my last name is from France. Actually. Oh, really? Yeah. No way. Bernay. It is not Bernay. It's Bernay. 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 That's right. Bernay. Yeah. In Argentina, you have my a face lot looks of, weird when I say of that. people from everywhere. <laughs> like Bernay. My first last name, my last name, my first one is Bernay, mm -hmm. and the second one is Croatian. Oh. You have two last teach. names? Not. I don't use them. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I have a bunch of last names uh, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Like you know, I pick one up every country I go to. <laughs> so <laughs> let's back to work. So we got the H, uh, just the first side of amazing. the H. Amazing. Well, congratulations, Aurora. Oh, oh, I did a mistake. I'm getting back to work over here. He's very, he's very concentrated. This is amazing. <laughs> so we have a winner. Yes, we have a winner. We have a pillow. We have some sham. Where is he from in France? I don't know. Maybe. Paris? Ah, yes, Paris, nice. Sweet. Ah, as Paris Michael now. would say in a very Parisian accent, we have a wiener. <laughs> yes, a wiener. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Everybody Amazing. wants a win. Hi, Victor. Hi, Aurora. Yes, you won. John, Stephanie, Olivier. Amazing. So many people from all over the world joining in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi, Ryan. Marshall, Tim, Mimiel, amazing. They're all here to see you draw. I love this. Yeah, I, oh. <laughs> You're like, oh, right. Oh. You're like, oh, me? No pressure. <laughs> no, no, it's right. I yeah. used to make a lot of mistakes on my process anyway. That's good. I think mistakes Because you get engaged are... on drawing and you forget to yeah. create the layers. So it's <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> That's like forgetting to like save, you know? Like you get age. really engaged. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. <laughs> That's super cool. This is having shape. So it's looking nice, actually. Yaha has a question: How do you approach the flow in your lettering? By references, by getting inspired by mm -hmm. other lettering artists or lettering designers. Mm -hmm. I separate them. You have designers and artists. Mm -hmm. So I used to get it. I used a lot of. Uh, Behance, Dribble, and mm -hmm. Instagram for looking for different yeah inspiration. Things. And you don't need to find the best of them. It's actually, I gonna be mean a little bit mean. Yeah, go for it. This one, it was uh, I was inspired for this one by a guy who just started. Yeah. His drawing was pretty bad, uh -huh. but I found something on the shapes yeah. that looks nice for this. And I yeah. think, oh, the S, I like the S, the, yeah. the flow. So it is not about looking for the top notch creative. It's just nice. like to find whatever you're looking for. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I think that's really important because I think good ideas can come from anywhere. Just like, um, you know, inspiration from design can come from anywhere. I so. have a mean example, actually. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I love this. He's like, I'm going to be mean. And I'm then I have so another mean, mean example. <laughs> uh, for example, I love New York City logotype. Oh, yeah, yeah. We love it. Yeah. I really love it, but you're going to get inspired by that. No. Because it's pretty simple. Yeah, it's basic. So it's not about looking for pretty inspiring, creative or designer from anywhere. Yeah. And it's just like I mean, the finding the right thing. basic as it gets. Yeah. I love New York. And this is why it's perfect, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And many times it's about marketing. Mm -hmm. It's not about how good are you on, lo on logotype design. That's mm -hmm. true. So more or less we have a sketch. So Tim asks, since there's so many hand-lettered fonts out there now, why not just find one that's close and then modify it in Illustrator? How? Sorry? <laughs> like, why draw your own? He's curious, like, why do you draw your own versus finding a font and then manipulating it? I do both. Nice. It depends on the brief. Mm -hmm. So I'm better working on typefaces than working on lettering. Indeed. So I used to manipulate a lot of the typefaces. Yeah. On my proposals, on my estimate proposals, mm -hmm. I'm against Alverica. And I mentioned that on my estimate proposals. Nice. I used to invest a lot of money buying typefaces. Yeah. And I used to modify them as maximum. Yes. I used to create new typefaces as well. Uh huh. But I love typefaces. It is. Type love. Yeah, it's like 
I don't like to, to grab my Illustrator and see all my library of typefaces and choose one or many and mm -hmm. do different sample. I like to explore and showing my clients something pretty cool and different than mm -hmm. Helvetica or exactly any traditional. Yeah, I, I have fun about Helvetica because the electronic music industry yeah. will love Helvetica. And yeah. Helvetica is for 1950s. Yeah, <laughs> no. it's an old, amazing masterpiece, but it is old. It's like you feel cool because you're listening to Mozart. Mm -hmm. This is how I see the Helvetica already. And I'm tired to see it everywhere. <laughs> you won't be original if you use Helvetica. <laughs> Amazing. Sorry, I'm pretty mean. <laughs> no, I think that the, yeah, everybody has opinions. This is great. <laughs> okay, I need to fix something. I did it wrong here. I'll duplicate this one. So for those of you who are just tuning in, we're with Chris Bernay, and he is designing Sham, a soda for um, his personal desires. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to be watching along as he's doing some illustration mm -hmm. uh, using Adobe Photoshop Sketch and then transporting that into Photoshop and Illustrator later. Uh, and we're also going to be working in Dimension and putting a lot of these uh, logos, designs, and labels onto cans, I'm going to imagine, yeah. um, over the next couple days. Um, another thing that's pretty great is that we're doing another challenge today. So if you haven't, uh, if you're joining us now and you hadn't seen the challenge from earlier, uh, we have about 52 minutes before we choose, um, well, before we look at all of the submissions for challenges. But today, we're celebrating International Earth Day, and we are asking viewers to download a logo or design a logo yourself, and then place it onto a water bottle that you can also download, and then apply that in Dimension. So if you haven't done so, I would download Dimension now. It takes a little bit of time to render, so when I say a little bit, I mean like more time probably than you're gonna create the logo with. So I would get your designs going and start to um, render early and uh, then you can submit. Mm -hmm. Okay, almost there. Nice. Um, we're gonna vote. We're gonna vote for Ooh. the logo type nice. we're gonna be working with. Ooh, voting. Yeah. <laughs> the stream loves voting, right guys? This is amazing. <laughs> All right, so what do we get to vote on? On two different options. Ooh. Let me just unwrap just this two. up. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, can we vote on three? No, because <laughs> You're like, no. the option number three. He's like, I'm I... going to be mean. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I like okay, this. Okay, let's. Hi, Liz from Trinidad and Tobago, West Indies. Good day. Nice. One. Ooh, so this is number one. This so you guys were going to be voting. One. Yeah, Kevin already says number four. He's like, I want number four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and number two. Oh, number wow. Number two. Yeah. Jeez, this so is So I difficult. have two others, but I... You're I not going to show I don't it see to the us? future on You don't them. see the future? I don't okay. see the future on this one. No? Nope. Maybe two. not. Two. Olivier it, says two. So can we put one and two next to each other and make them larger so mm. that they can see it? I'm not pretty Oh, sure. yeah. So then we just like pinch ah, it or? Come on. Or Apple. Like double tap it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know. I know how to do that. I'm like, wait, we can, oh, there, we could do this, swiping one and swiping two. This is perfect. Can, okay, oh. Ooh. <laughs> Beep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, you have to memorize. Oh, he says we don't think we can. Okay, so memorize either one or two. Let's swipe camera one, this camera is two. one. Camera one, camera two. Camera two. Ooh, I like really like Wayne's number World. two. Do you remember Wayne's yeah, World? Yeah, that's camera why I did one, that. Camera one, two. camera two, <laughs> camera two. Totally. So we have this one. <laughs> Products of the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, I mean, you, not oh. me. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye. One or two, guys. One or two. <laughs> ah, two, two. Well, it is two, a hard it's choice. like two. I really like number two. I mean, okay. I'm more of a two, but this is, you know, like some people like a one. Okay. Yeah. So, so there's a lot of twos, a lot of twos plus ones, <laughs> a lot of ones. 
Now there's it's more It's obvious. Twos. Number two. A lot of two. On, I know. It's obvious. I know. I know. <laughs> I mean, you know I can't read. <laughs> like, there's a lot of numbers out there. <laughs> okay. Oh, I know that um, those are friends of mine from Buenos Aires. Wait, who? Oh, I know. I know, I know oh. what's in America. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's a great name. Hi to Pablo Partner says number Maria. two. Yeah. I love them. Oh, hi. I'm their son's godfather. Oh, oh, that's a big role. He's that's pretty mean. I'm surprised you guys chose him. Another, <laughs> <laughs> another reason I'm coming back to Buenos Aires. Oh, like, nice. I well, have two kids and another one now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the A is strange. So it looks like number Gabriel, two. Gabriel, Elisa, Sakajiri. Let's go back like, to number one and show them number one again. I don't know. Jose likes number one. Number one. This is tough. It is. I mean, it's really up to you. <laughs> you just get to read. Hey, it. what's up, Sebastian Sider? He's from Buenos Aires. Hola, Sebastian. Como va? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think number two, and we're going to reverse the A. Okay. It is true. It is risky. This, this style is quite risky. It's. You think so? Yes. I what's see. What's risky about the style? As harm. Oh. But we're gonna fix S that somehow. Yeah. yeah, it does look more like S Ham. And we can say that, but if a client say that, yeah. it's pretty bad. And what, you feel so What about bad. number one? Do you wanna go to number well, one? Well, I'm just saying, like, I definitely read Sham. It's just not as impactful as number two. Yeah, it yeah. is more smooth and soft. Yeah, it's more smooth. The other yeah. is more. The other is more like loud. sham. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> screaming like here yeah. I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the first one's like sham. I drink it. Yeah. <laughs> the second one's like oh, sham. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, two for life. I mean, so Kaylin says two for life. This jam's gonna be screaming between those. Totally products. playful, like, urban, yeah. spontaneous, mm -hmm. disruptive. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Maybe we just need to make the H more like prevalent or the A less prevalent. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's a little the S. It's a little far from the H ring now. It's cool, the kerning is weird, so I gotta fix that. Yeah. But I need to start working on Photoshop, mm -hmm. and I need to swap. To Sham swap, wow. Change <laughs> the order of my computer on my iPad actually. Okay, so, so just we switching have the from there to there. You can unplug uh -huh. the iPad. You don't need it. I need a plug now, the iPad here. We're doing this it. live. Yeah, yeah so because I'm going to use it as a, <laughs> as, yeah, as a, as a topic. Well, Just unplug it. You need a USB port though, right? Yep. Yeah, so so while Chris is moving his computers around and yeah. plugging things in, hashtag right. dongle life. Um, <laughs> I don't have a desk. <laughs> nomadic designer. This is, a, this is a problem that you face when you're a nomad. Um, <laughs> I'm curious how many of you have used Dimension before and how many of you out there are using it right now in order to do our challenge? Mm. Anyone? Question mark? <coughs> <laughs> yes, there's a beer between computers. Tomorrow we'll probably have to I bring have beer. I have a bottle with beer. Oh, you really? Open Great. It right now yeah. And we have just one glass. It's totally. all we need. One so. glass. Yeah. Dongle life. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yaha. <laughs> Oh, yes, Tim Mobeast is going. Mobeast. I kind of like Mobeast, even though it's Mobest. He's using Dimension right now. Yeah, Tim. Nice. Oh, Steve is using it for the first time today. Great job, Steve. It's pretty easy, right? What's that? <laughs> We've got some music going on in the background over here. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Voodoo Val knows. She's like, Mo Beast, yo. <laughs> I have a question for the viewers. In, in oh, yes. Yes. What do you use? Do you use a mouse, a pad, the, the, the trackpad? The, 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 the pad or a tablet? Mm -hmm. What do you use for designing? Oh. I, I really wonder it's about this. It's a good this. question. I mean, for me personally, I'm curious too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Jan Eriksson asked if we were drinking this early. There's nothing wrong with that, Jan. <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. Oh, a lot of people are saying mouse. Yeah. Well. Paper, mouse, Wacom tablet. Mm hmm Graphic tablet. It was the only one who worked with a pad from the computer. <laughs> you are? Yeah, I was. I, oh, and I now you do too. a tablet. And when, I, when I am not using the, the, the tablet, mm -hmm. I use the pad. 
Mm. It was used to me for the last 10 years. House. <laughs> Only when on the road, says Tim. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. JC okay. says rock, paper, scissors. So I guess all three. Okay, this is pretty cool. So we have number two is the winner. Number two. Number okay. two is the winner. Gonna it's that wiener. It to my Photoshop. <laughs> Hashtag oh no, no Michael Photoshop. I, <laughs> oh, I don't need it in Photoshop actually. I need it in Illustrator. Mm -hmm. My bad. Hello. Mimiel says it's nearly 4 p.m. there, so she wants champagne. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> so I know Latam asks, uh, tell us about Pura Fruta. Fruta. We're going to be talking about Pura Fruta tomorrow. Oh, too soon, I know, Latam. Yeah. Too soon. You didn't pay attention at the beginning yeah. of this. Yeah, oh. go back and replay. You can replay. <laughs> There's a tab above the, above the screen that says replays, which is pretty cool. You can go back and look at everything. Yep, yeah. That's right. Maybe uh, <laughs> this is not working. Let's What's see. What's going on? <laughs> no, I think maybe we're gonna the, have a have a, another cameo by oh. Paco. <laughs> yeah, cameo time. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean. So internet. while you guys are watching along, oh, we're going live like right now, doing oh, this live while um, Paco and Chris no, are gonna, figuring uh, out some computer yeah, issues. I just solution. want to remind you all that you have 42 minutes left for your design oh, challenge. Gosh. And if you want to go to the challenge bar on the right side of the screen, you can see that today's challenge is Earth Day. So designing an Earth Day yeah, logo no. and then applying Good. that logo <laughs> to you. a bottle that you will then put in Dimension. So download Dimension, upload your logo onto your bottle, and then submit it for a chance to win a year subscription to Creative Cloud. Yes, thank you Voodoo Val, good luck challengers. Uh, it's gonna be pretty amazing, and then we're gonna open up the film, or open up the feed so that Chris can then choose the winner in about 40 minutes or so. So, yes, it's gonna be pretty great. Okay. Are we, are we live? We're, we're back. Live. We're back. <laughs> we're back with Sham. Technology is with us now. Yes. Yeah, cool. Technology is with us now. <laughs> so. Oh, good. Alexandra says he's rendering on the way. Nice. <laughs> cool. That means that we've got submissions well coming in. So I used to work with the biggest canvas ever. Really? Yeah. I used to create big canvas. And I have the. The example of this is a case study, because you can see the, and, the and process the... of the last option of Barriculture, actually. Oh. And this is how Whoa. it works. This is oh. how I work on the tailing. I, wow. For example, this that sketch. That was the very beginning. Turn, turn, and you see all process, little by little. I just wow. change something. And then improving small things. it. Yeah, now small that is thing. the most detailed step by step process I think I've ever seen, honestly. I have pre worked files actually with a ton of things. <laughs> Those have to be really heavy files. <laughs> Not really. Well, I mean, it's all vector. It's vector, yeah. Yeah, so, it, but still, like, it slows things down when there's that many vector points in a. Wow. And that, yeah. one, that was the first proposal there. Wow. At the, Kevin the, uh, says he knows that process. <laughs> nice. So then I have all the variations. Thanks, Yaha. <laughs> and if we are in time, we're going to be working on this kind of effects. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Well, you better get to it, because I know everybody is going to want to see that, so we better yeah. have time. <laughs> OK. Right? Chop, chop. Oh, come on, Ipad. <laughs> so for Sham, it's going to be a very similar process where you'll go through and make multiple iterations, like one over the next. When you need things works, they don't want to work. <laughs> Again, That's hashtag true. dongle life. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And Dongles for days. Here. That's right. Thank you, oh, Gus. That's a problem. <laughs> yes. This mm -hmm. is going big. Nope. JC says he loves a busy artboard. Yeah, I love yeah. them too. I think you and Chris have something in common here. <laughs> totally. <laughs> He's like, talk to me, friend. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I'm fighting with some with the software right now. Why are you being mean with me? You've been working perfectly. The software? Yeah. Oh no. 
Maybe we're going to have to have another cameo by Paco Bao. Yeah. <laughs> we're like, uh-oh, okay, and we're let's, off. Let's talk over this. <laughs> I think we're also off there. Oh. <laughs> now it's a problem between my iPad and my <laughs> Mac. Yeah. Uh-oh. So if you're joining now... <laughs> let's see. If you're joining now, Chris okay. is having yeah. dongle life issues. Paco Bell is over here assisting. <laughs> Gus is on the frame. This is amazing. This is a full team effort in order to get amazing design for Sham Soda up and running. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think I can do it in this way. I think you're doing a great job. In fact, you know, maybe it's time for a beer. <laughs> yeah, okay. We got it. We got it. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tim, I can't. I'm gonna discuss with my iPad. <laughs> oh, perfect. Tonight. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, perfect. We'll get you a new one for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm the boss, you're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right, computer. I'm the yeah, boss. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yaha says no beer, just sham. <laughs> Drinking sham all day. Yeah, this is gonna be weird. Does sham have to feel... be soda or can we make sham beer? <laughs> Jam beer. So, okay, the first step is to trace this sketch. Okay. Okay, there's. Another way I save a lot of time when I trace using my iPad Pro Great. or your Syncwit. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I create different layers, as you may see here. I get the image, then the tracing or process. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's just like a jam. A jam with J, J A M. Let's J A M. Jam. Let's jam Let with sham. Jam. I feel like there's a song in there. Uh -huh. We're gonna jam. I used to We're choose. We're jamming with sham. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gus I is in the back, like, singing his own <laughs> song. He's like, welcome to the sham. Welcome to the sham. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's like Space Sham. Remember that? Yeah, Space Sham. Yeah, everyone wants to sham. Let's do the sham session. Yeah. Man, this soda, I don't know if you just named it out of, uh, on a whim, but I think it's got some... I think it's got some roots. Yeah. Kathleen's even dancing in the background. She's like, yeah, sham. <laughs> sham wow. Yeah, that's right. There's a sham wow. I like that too. So right now you're going through the process of illustrating over the sketch in order to import it. Uh-huh. Nice. So how many of you out there are following along and doing the exact same thing and making your own sham logo? <gasps> I wonder, that'd be kind of cool, right? I have a question. How many of you have Adobe uh, Capture? Adobe Capture. Oh, I do. You do? And yes. I n need to know if they have one because we can share the logotype and they can capture it. Oh my gosh, using. how cool. And, yep. Yes. And play with it. Yes. We could even put it on the water bottle for dimension. Uh huh. For Earth Day, it could be sham water. <laughs> Finally. Maybe <the> not. <laughs> we'll just keep it here. <laughs> the iPad is being more fair with me right now. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. I, I like it when mm -hmm. the iPad's nice. Yes, many people do have capture and they're saying sham amazing. Amazing. Um, so that's something that we'll want to have uploaded maybe tonight. That'd be great. Or tomorrow or by the end yep. of the week at least. Actually, there's something special about this because I'm gonna share all the materials and all the process mm -hmm. on a Behance project. Amazing. And everybody's gonna be allowed to download everything. I love this. All the editable files, everything. What a generous person. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's so lovely. <laughs> this is all about. I... Yeah, it's all about caring and sharing <laughs> and giving and living. I like it. <laughs> yes. Tips from Chris. I like this. It's about sharing, that's right. It is about sharing. I was, I was a, a, a new designer a couple of years before, and you have a lot of uh, gaps in the information. Totally. You learn a lot of in the university or in the art school, but then nobody tells you how to create a, an estimate proposal or how to show a logotype to a client Completely. or how to deliver a logotype to a client in the right way. Amazing. Yeah, no, this is going to be really great. So if you guys are just joining us, we've just learned that Chris Bernay here, who is designing the sham logo, is going to share all of his assets with us on Capture. So it'll be on the Creative Cloud and you can download them, I think, most likely the, after the last show. Uh -huh. So everything will be up there. Pretty 
cool, right? Very cool. I think everybody's really excited. Olivia says, thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Amazing. Sorry, I'm pretty focused on this. No, that's great. Uh, I think because that that's... my iPad is not being pretty friendly. <laughs> and I see everything pretty small right now. Like. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect, though. So... So Chris oh. right now is designing, well, he just drew Sham, the soda that is a fictitious soda that he has made up for a brief that he just walked us through. And what he's doing right now is tracing over it, and then he'll be importing it into Illustrator. Mm-hmm. Um. And if you guys haven't done so already, make sure to download the logo and download your bottles so that you can enter this week's challenge. Um, our challenge submission deadline <laughs> is 33 minutes from now. And if you uh, are chosen, if you're the lucky winner, you get a year's worth of Creative Cloud subscription, which is pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a really great win. For typefaces and lettering, I don't recommend to use magic tools or automated no. tools yeah. just to do in do it by hand yeah by hand yeah and what what is the purpose do you think is what makes that better because you can control 100% of every single dot of every single node i mean got it yeah otherwise the on vectors, faces, the pads can be a little jagged yeah mm -hmm. and then you have more many many nodes mm -hmm. and it is pretty complicated to manage them when you work on typeface or in lettering and you need to be as simple as possible. Mm -hmm. Just if you need to make something to enlarge just part one part of the lettering, just moving just one single node. Mm -hmm. When you have many of them, it's quite complicated. So Omen has a question: What tool are you using to trace? For trace, I'm mm -hmm. using Illustrator, but for using the iPad Pro with uh, with my laptop, I use. Astropad Studio. Okay. And that it's a little it expensive. I'm a little upset with them, actually. <laughs> Astropad Pro, because they charge you for downloading the app mm. and then they charge you a subscription mm. every single month. Mm. And it's like a tool. It is not, a, I don't know, a website or, yeah. or Adobe subscription. It is just for using your two of your devices. It's like, oh, I feel it like a little unfair. Like, <laughs> And it's expensive. This petty box just for downloading the app. Well, hopefully we can figure out a better solution soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Adobe. Adobe. <laughs> <laughs> Help us. <laughs> so hopefully you guys are getting your submissions in. Yes. Yeah, I'm excited to see what everyone creates. Mm -hmm. We've got about 30 minutes, so that's probably just enough time for you to start rendering right now and maybe submitting. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone earlier asked, uh, is there gonna be a sham, a diet sham? Diet sham? Yeah, are you gonna do diet sham? Don't trust in diet products. <laughs> Don't trust the product. Don't trust it? Okay. No. <laughs> It's all a lie. It's all a lie. So nope, there'll be no diet sham. It's sham and sham alone. <laughs> Guys, to everybody, it's not about the sugar. Mm -mm. Or not the sugar, it's about the ingredients you're drinking. <laughs> Again, more life tips from Chris. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about the sugar. Yes, as Tim says, diets are a sham. Are a jam, yeah. <laughs> So how long do you usually spend on a logo when you're hand lettering it? Depends. Sometimes it's just like an artistic thing that you wake up mm -hmm. absolutely inspired or you just dream about the logo type and yeah. you do it just like that. It's totally. crazy. Actually, uh, Buddha Fruit, I will talking about this tomorrow. I was working in Buddha Fruit and the logo type was made in just 15 minutes. Oh, wow. And it was Clients the love one. to hear that, right? Yeah, no, but <laughs> I showed them a lot of different options. Yeah, but that was the first one. But I wasn't 100% convinced about about them. And, yeah. I, and then I woke up one day. That's a real and that story. And I said, like, should be something more like, oh, and I wore that, and they approved that option. 
nice. was the last option, saving me. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. I love stories like that. I think that, uh, yeah, it, it makes sense though because you you ruminate on an idea and you think about the design mm -hmm. for a long time, and then by the time you actually put pen to paper, so they say. Um, you kind of have a pretty good idea of what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And the feel and the look and the palette and everything that you want to work with. Okay, we already traced all. We got it. I now. hope you guys are rendering away over there because <laughs> we have a subscription of Creative Cloud with someone's name on it. We just don't know whose name yet. Whoa! We got it. That's amazing. Okay, thank you. Thanks <laughs> You're for You're like, all right, Let's I'll go. see you later. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> no way, man. We've got another hour. We're doing it. <laughs> this is incredible. So maybe you could zoom in and show us. Yes, this is great. Wow. It is. Yeah, see, you guys all thought that we were just over here uh -huh. doing stuff, you know, taking notes. And that's so my tasty, iPad that's is not right. being friendly. <laughs> it looks know. beautiful and it's much more legible when it's not in sketch form. Mm -hmm. So the traditional walk. Oh, the traditional is back. Bye. You're like, see you later. We gotta talk. I like this. You have all the tools, you are like a nomadic <laughs> like desk. Yeah, you, know, you have a desk yes. in your bag. It's like Mary Poppins over there. It's a whole topic. Actually. Yeah, you did come with a lot of props and a lot of things. <laughs> Hi! What's up? Lao's here, yeah, woo! <laughs> Amazing. Goodbye. Yeah, See people ya. are like, that A is incredible. I agree, Michael Shepard. That is an incredible A. Oh, I'm gonna need a wire. It's beautiful. Yeah, you're almost there. Yeah. Now the better part. Tablet, yes. Amazing. It is. it is very cool. Um, this is pretty great. Okay. So for those work. of you out there, we've got about 27 more minutes until the challenge submission deadline. Um, so please submit your submit your designs now. Yes, Oliver Rensnet. After tablet, paper and ink. Really? Not right now, but tomorrow we're gonna be doing some pretty fun stuff. I like this. He has a grocery bag of things yep. back here. It's pretty insane. It is. <laughs> oh! We're gonna work with this tomorrow. Oh, I'm so excited! With I a love brush. it when we do like live brush. real things. This is great. Yes. <laughs> and ink. Yes, even better. <laughs> I'll hold on to this. <laughs> you nail it. Feel it, the real world. This is amazing. Yeah. So for those of you following along, we have some acrylic water-based ink, paintbrush. Tomorrow we're going to be using this. So tonight, if you want to go out and get some or dig it out of your <laughs> closet because you're already an art student, then get some because we are going to paint. This mm -hmm. is awesome. I'm stoked. So yep. that's what's going to make it feel <laughs> even more lively and real. This is great. Yeah. So, no iPad Pro, no walk home. <laughs> Leslie says she panned back and thought it was a fancy, fancy long red <laughs> French cigarette. I was like, yeah, no big deal. Um, Brian Seba has a question. Where did you study design? Where or when? Where? Where. I have a really tidy career. I was in three different art schools in Argentina. Ooh. And I don't have any degree. Good for you, see? <laughs> I think that just goes to show that it's about um, experience, intuition, and taste. Yes. I, I went to school on a 2009 huge crisis in Argentina. Yeah. It was a pretty tough time in Buenos Aires. Uh, and I started studying graphic design, but I started working for a for a big studio, a graphic mm -hmm. design studio, and I grew up so fast there. Yeah. When I was in my second year in the university, I became art director with oh, wow. five people in my charge. See? Yeah. So then I got pretty busy at work. Kind of didn't really need to finish the degree <laughs> in order to do what you were already doing. Yeah, yes. and it was a big deal working yeah. for this studio. It was like... Uh, <laughs> Kathleen says Lau approves of this graphic. <laughs> Good job. I like this because they're sitting over there. We can't really see them, but we can see them. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like playing telephone. <laughs> um, so now I'm working on the tailings, just fixing the, all the curves. 
amazing. Try Making sure everything looks smooth and beautiful. Smooth and beautiful. Um, this someone table. asked earlier what kind of paint, and it's an acrylic paint. So we're doing a water-based acrylic paint. It's black. Um, and then if you are following along tomorrow, Chris is going to do some painting. Yeah. So pretty exciting. We have a very uh, mixed media process <laughs> going on here. Yeah. Which is pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. Right now I'm working just. I am used to work because I'm traveling a lot yeah. and I work with my pad. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yep. This is already looking awesome. I can't wait to see How what you're going to do with the ink tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, your story, I have I know um, a couple people in my past to uh, creative directors that I've worked with who had the same kind of similar background and story, like mm -hmm. different in Chicago, but... Um, you know, they were already working and doing we work the work. in the same company. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just like they're already doing the work, and it's like, should I really continue to get my degree if I'm already doing the work I want to do with the degree? <laughs> so, I'm not yeah. a doctor, so I can work without any degree. That's true. So, I mean, like, you're a doctor of design. <laughs> I won't kill anybody doing my stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so it was pretty tidy, actually, indeed. I just need to fix this. I really love that S. It's just yeah, it's really nice. nice. Yeah, I like to squint a little bit to look at it. It always helps me because mm -hmm. then I can see what's standing out and what's like not. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I just fixed a little bit the, mm -hmm. the, the curves on and some details. Mm -hmm. and now I'm going to place this on a grid. <laughs> the, the good old drama says, everyone get out of university. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I was like, well, that's not exactly what we're saying, but we're not not saying that. I, I, actually, I gave some talks. I gave some talk in one of the universities yeah. twice, and, and they like, request me, don't mention, don't you mention don't have, <laughs> that you have no degree at all. I love it. <laughs> You're like, just, just don't mention that. We want to yeah. keep everyone here paying for tuition. <laughs> right? Yeah. Exactly. Look, yeah. If you've got good design, you got good design. If you guys are doing it all right, then just keep going and do mm -hmm. what you do. Yeah. So now this is about rhythm, <laughs> what I'm doing on the grids. Nice. So it is not only about just always the same, it's just like being more dynamic. Oh, making sure that there's some, oh, some great. Sense. So you're so. putting in a bit of perspective so that you can follow along? Yeah, it's just to make it more solid mm -hmm. when you got the final artwork. Mm -hmm. Because if you have different lines going everywhere, it's gonna be pretty unbalanced, mm -hmm. uh, but when you work with the guides, and I call them rhythm, like, yeah, okay, I it's like gonna that. be improving this way, or what I'm doing in this one, mm -hmm. the the X-hate is gonna be weird. It is not an X-hate anyway, they are mm -hmm. all uppercase. So I'm gonna try to respect the that guide with all these lines, you know? And you will see it's gonna be more compact, and stable at the end, and yeah. the same with the with the baseline. So, well, I also like it. There's something about it that's very musical, the way you <laughs> said it, and, and then you have those two lines in there. So it's like the rhythm, and it feels like yep. musical notes on this. Yeah, There's a lot cool. of music in our industry. Yeah, there is. <laughs> it is. Oh no, I just got it. The problem with the iPad Pro. So I'm connected to this, and my. <laughs> There's a conflict with it. With a with tomorrow's going to be a lot spread. simpler, guys. Hashtag yeah, yeah. dongle life is going to go away, and no, we're, we're going to totally know what we're doing here with plugs and right. computers and pads and <laughs> ink and paint brushes <laughs> and long fancy French cigarettes and you know all the things. Sham. <laughs> okay, now uh, let's keep playing. Amazing. So I think we have a lot from the music industry. When you yeah. start on graphic design, you need to copy a little bit. Not for a client, but learning. You mm -hmm. like a um, style, so try to copy and learn how to make it. Then you're going to be free to make it by your own. Yeah. But you understood the, the style already. Don't try to invent everything by yourself because that's impossible. It's just mm -hmm. trying to to mimic others' work. I like this again. You guys, Life Advice by Chris Burnett. Uh. Tune in tomorrow <laughs> and Thursday because he'll be giving you more life advice on rhythm, music, yeah. shams, beer. Which kind of music do you Helvetica, hear? Helvetica, all the things. If you want if you want good points, this is where you're going to have to be. <laughs> 
Are you used guys to listen to the same music anytime, or you change the mood and you change, change the, the music? Mood. Yeah, change the mood, change the music. Totally, music can change everything. How extremist are you? <laughs> I'm consider myself pretty extremist with the music. With music, yeah, I've listened to quite a bit of different music. I really enjoy classical though. Oh, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know. So I. It is cool. When I need it's to be. It's kind of like Helvetica. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> When I am on a rush and I need to work pretty fast, I used to listen to Rammstein. Oh. Rah, rah, rah. That's very <laughs> intense. That's very, very intense. <laughs> but just on my headset. So, like. so as Voodoo Val is saying, we have 20 minutes left for you to submit your daily challenge. And the lucky winner that is going to be chosen by Chris is going to win a year's subscription to Creative Cloud. So pretty cool. Yes, it looks like a couple people are tuning back in right now and they're like, whoa, this is amazing. So, welcome back, Ryan Ford. Okay. I really like how you can see the change that you've put through every single yeah, one. Yeah, so, and sometimes you need yeah. a jump to another version. Like, now I do something like, oh no, yeah. this is not working. So, I won't delete this version. Yeah. And going back well, you here. never really know what you're going to go back to or mm -hmm. what you're going to need. Yeah. So, and, it's smart. And more in typeface or in lettering because maybe, I don't know, I, I have the option of changing them so bad and change it absolutely and 100% and then I realize that the A is not working anymore. Mm -hmm. So you need to jump a mm -hmm. couple of steps backward. Yeah. So this is why you need to keep everything. Nice. And everybody's chiming in about their music. They're like, Ramstein? That's great adrenaline music. Yeah, I used to listen to Ramstein and Justice when I'm on a rush or mm. need a focus or just came of convenience like, or, or pr oh, music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know them. Totally, yeah. Or just drink a lot of coffee. I'm like, Yes, everyone listen to Ramstein right now and do your submission. <laughs> you have 17 minutes to submit. <laughs> Put on your adrenaline rush music, pound a coffee, and let's go. <laughs> this is another trick I used on lettering. Mm -hmm. That is creating circles. Oh. Just circles. Just like sweet like a circle. And then I choose a contrasted color. Oh, to see if the widths are, are similar? Are more or less. You know, mm -hmm. funny enough, mm -hmm. uh, Jessica, who was on uh, earlier this morning, she did something very similar. I, really? I think it's like a cool design trick, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It's a hack. Yeah, it's, it's a great hack. It's a great hack. Yeah, it's awesome. So now I see that. Yeah, Jose's asking, so what is Chris doing right now? How is he finding what to modify? Or what I'm doing is just like, okay, I have this situation right now. Mm -hmm. I want to follow this circle and I see this shape is not pre working. Mm -hmm. It is not working pretty well, I mean. So I'm gonna fix that. This is pretty fat. Mm -hmm. This is a little tiny. Mm -hmm. This is tiny. <laughs> Jell says, ah, ye old circle trick, ha. Ah. That's my circle <laughs> trick. I added the ye old, sorry. <laughs> it's a pretty simple hack. I love it though, yeah. It's great because it, it helps you align, mm -hmm. helps you stay honest. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm here to be honest with you guys. Yes. I'm gonna be showing everything I do. That's, that's great. That's the purpose of my visit here. Yeah, transparency. <laughs> Full transparency. transparency. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> it's not about showing my work. It's about trying to teach something to people. Showing the process. Yeah. So what about the other side of the A? Are, are we at all concerned with that being thin? Because I quite like it. I mean, but I'm curious no, what your I, process is. This, is. this lettering style, you don't have to make it pretty fat in this right. way. Because you don't it want is it to more, all if you're exact, using a brush, right? you do yeah. it faster and then it's more flat yeah, slower on would the be, other yes. side. So you can see, I can just explore it. Why not? And you will see mm -hmm. the problem. If I make it fat, fatter, do it into this place. Oh, uh, Sebastian says, you didn't save. You should save right now. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> Thank you. Sebastian for the win. <laughs> <laughs>
I like that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ryan Ford is also mentioned. He's like, yeah, you know what? That's got balance. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's good. I'm, this is great. You, you yeah, can see I'm, I'm tidy. I'm pretty tidy uh -huh. on the folders as well. Oh, I'm like, tight on the folders. Yeah, I've got all of the little rhythms and the ways. Rhythm. Acronym. Yeah. Yep. Everything. Job numbers that I create. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Job numbers, versions, <laughs> whip. <laughs> yes. R1. It means revision one. Yeah, revision one. Oh, I'm going with V. I always do V, like version. Version. Yeah. I like it. Are you guys an R but I or have a, a V? Thing. Huh. I have I already tried version. Oh, you did? Yes, what, what but didn't sometimes work about it? you show different option or different version to your client, and you keep working in two different versions, and you have different revision. True. From each one. Oh man, <laughs> oh man, this is why it's going from V to R. There's um, a lot of V's out there. People do versions, yeah. Um, yeah. See, that's when I get letters in there, and I'm like V1A, V1B. Yeah, V1C. I used to call them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> version v1 r2 v1, v1 r2. r7 it's great when you look through someone else's files because you're like oh crap i don't know how they version and which one's real and which one's but that's like important a not in a logotype but in packaging we're yeah. gonna see oh, tomorrow sure. because uh so it is many not about yes yeah. and it's doing like the legal copy and yeah. upc codes go mm -hmm. in and like all of this other stuff so there's very minor little details yeah that and you during won't the time see. it's not only on the first design you provide yes. the same one the deliver they print yes. the first packaging it's version one revision two and then you have just little yeah. changes on the packaging it's revision <laughs> three everyone's like oh yeah man this is like oh, ex <laughs> export <laughs> final yeah, yeah final, final 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 and then final 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 Final, final V51. <laughs> and then being gross, like this beep, 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 final. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Okay, this you is better be save. Final. I don't want something to happen to your file while we're all talking about versions. I already saved it. Okay, good. So this is what happened if I oh, did it yeah. in that way. This it's looks more as, like. Uh, it's not as fun. No, it's it is too fat. more like sign, uh, mm -hmm, sign like painting. Like sign painter, yeah, yeah totally. And that's not totally. the idea, so it is more like yeah. poetry, more like Sam urban. Sam Taylor says, sometimes throw the date in there for good measure. I do that yeah. too, Sam. <laughs> it's actually for like organization <laughs> in a folder. <laughs> uh huh. Amazing. So, so you guys have about so 12 fun. minutes to submit. Um, keep your submissions coming in. I'm seeing more of them come in by the moment. and. Um, Yes, if you submitted earlier, you can always submit again. Just make sure that it's something new that hasn't been submitted before. It's gonna go like this. Cool. Oh, nice. So lengthening the bam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you can see now. Oh, that's cool. Sham. Damn. One hack. You need to choose the yellow just from this uh -huh. part. So I group them. Uh huh. And now. Oh, to ungroup? No, I'm just getting to the group isolation mode. Uh huh. So I choose the yellow from the isolation. I don't. I won't delete. Oh. Those. That's a great trick. That is a great trick. <laughs> Again, life tricks and tips <laughs> by Chris. This is great. Okay, now it's just like. How do you feel the shape? Now I know they are just exactly the same. It, uh -huh. it doesn't work for the first the the, the first uppercase mm -hmm. sign, but it's gonna work for the rest of them. But now it is more like okay, I want this a little bit more mm -hmm. stretch to be more balanced because the, the weight here is pretty heavy. It mm -hmm. looks a little heavier, but it's looking good. Now, let's see the blind Kevin says it looks so good. Not yet, because he just found another problem here. It's about the blank spaces. The blank spaces. Yeah, the H blank space, it's not working pretty good. I need to make them So bigger. the kerning? Yeah, now it's Yeah, someone was mentioning that better. earlier. They're like, ah, oh, now it's the kerning trick. Gel says, <laughs> now just wait for the kerning trick. <laughs> Oh, we're close enough. This is pretty fat in the way. Let's fix it. Yeah, it's nice. It's having shape. Oh. Yeah. It's working. Yeah. It's, it's working. It's getting better. More visible. Mm -hmm. And then I like to do this compare. Yeah. Okay, this is the original one. 
Oh yeah. And as I told you, I'm a shortcut master. Oh, are you? You see, I. I didn't. I don't I didn't have read my that tools on your resume. visible. <laughs> I don't Shortcut have the, the, the tools on, on my... Yeah, uh, I noticed that. I was like, maybe they're <laughs> hidden somewhere. But yeah, he works without tools. They were having fun of me because of my keyboard. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, missing his self keyboard key. is actually like worn <laughs> through. It looks like someone took like a, a piece of sandpaper and wore through the, the keys. Sheep. It's insane. The this is new. That's it's, new. it's insane. Yeah, if you see on my live feed, uh, it... I show him earlier. Yeah. Being I, I'm gonna take menace. a photo of this and share it on my on my Instagram. Yeah, it's on my Instagram. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Instagram.com like, slash Chris Renee. <laughs> Amazing. So, okay. I think it's time for move forward with some. What are you guys thinking over there? It's pretty great. The kerning still being weird. The kerniness? Yeah. Looking better. Tell it to yeah. stop being weird, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I think it's good enough for now. And this is just, in a real world, uh -huh. this is just the first sketch. Yeah. This is the first option. Then I have to work way more on this because of the client's feedbacks. Yeah. And not only of their feedback, my own feedback. Exactly. I used to print them just in an A4 or letter page and I found more details to work with. But mm -hmm. that's good enough. I just share it with with a client in that mm -hmm. way. Then we fix just a little detail. Yes, Jose Molestina is one of my clients and partners. Oh. And he's mentioning my Instagram. Yes, it's Chris Bernay. Nice. Yes, Chris <laughs> Bernay. Jose, stay tuned tomorrow so, because I'm going to be talking about Pura Fruta. Out of curiosity, I think some people are questioning why the extra long on the it's, on the exclamation versus the dot it's um it's more about styling we were uh -huh. talking about urban mm -hmm. it's spontaneous and this is more inspired in in street art lettering got it so it is more risky so it's more like it's more disruptive long. like yes yeah, like a yeah. brush da, da, instead of like something delicate uh -huh. which would be more of a dot yeah got it this is not an script lettering this is more a freestyle lettering mm -hmm. based on street art style, so that's the idea behind that. Okay, let's work on the effects on this one. Nice, and then Jan had a question. Sure. Um, so he said, are you making the strokes and letters the same so it looks better coherently? Like the strokes more um, aligned yeah, yeah. with thickness that's and thinness. totally right, yes. To make it more solid, you need to be more cohesive. Wait, and I cannot pronounce that word. <laughs> <laughs> coherent, coherent, yeah. So yeah. that it's more um, cohesive. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Has better balance, I would think. In this case, because it's kind of freestyle, I didn't use other kind of uh, guides. I would mm -hmm. like to mention that it's like this, just for the right, because it's freestyle, so it should yeah. feel a little bit. They are pretty. Pretty well, close. Actually. Pretty close. Let's fix them anyway. Ah, uh, yes. We've got about hmm. five more minutes for you guys to submit your challenge. Don't forget, if you haven't already, the challenge bar is on the right side and you can upload your final design using the form that's shown there. Doo -doo. <coughs> Oh, I know what I've done here. It is not about the guide. It was to follow the A. Yeah, that's what I was thinking when I was creating the thumbnailing. Mm -hmm. So, I think people want to see Sham on a pin or a baseball cap or a T-shirt. <laughs> so, do you have a twenty-four hour printing service <laughs> around? <laughs> I mean, like I'm sure it exists. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we didn't choose a color, so I'm gonna pick up one. Nice. When I work in color, I have more things. Ooh, more now, things you already to show. know this. Pantone swatch book. Yeah, you need it. I like how you carry it in a plastic bag just so it doesn't yes. get ruined. <laughs> it's really important. I'm a oh, nomad. I'm a nomad. They're I'm a expensive. nomad. They are yeah. used to be on my backpack yeah. or in my <laughs> baggage, so I used to destroy them. So I start taking care of them <laughs> because yeah. they're expensive. This they is are. like one hundred forty dollars. Yeah, they're expensive. expensive. Yeah. 
So this is important. When you choose a color in the screen and you're working on packaging, you need to think about printing. That's key because you're gonna choose a pretty bright color, mm -hmm. pretty intense, but then you have a problem, but you need printing mm -hmm. and you need the Pantone working properly and be pairing with a digital color. You know what I mean? Yeah, so completely. Because it looks very different on screen than it does in real life. You should always be mm -hmm. considering what's going on off the screen. Yes, and then it's about pairing the color in Pantone and this mm -hmm. CMYK. Mm -hmm. So that's the same, like trying to choose something that works in both in the closest way possible. Yeah. And just from the beginning, not at the end of, we were used to do that. Like, okay, I'm designing, I prepare everything, the client approve all my work. Mm -hmm. uh, now I have to choose the color, but they already fall in love with the blue I choose. Yeah. And then when they see that they're like, oh, that's not the blue. Yeah. That, uh, then they you print the blue me. and they yeah, got exactly. absolutely upset with you. Like, totally. <laughs> I've been there before. Learns lots of lessons. <laughs> <laughs> it's better to to work yeah. on that at the beginning, from the beginning. Totally. So I'm choosing a color close to the pitaya, pitaya or a dragon fruit. Okay. This is too red. Oh, yeah, it's the dragon fruit. It's got that pink. Yeah. Like, reddish pink. Pinkish. And pink is pretty tough, dude. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This one looks yeah. pretty, yeah, pretty nice. Let's go with this one. It feels pretty close. Mm -hmm. It's also vibrant and fun. Yeah. So, for those of you following along, it's PMS number 191C. Is that the one? One. Or, yeah. 191C. 191C. Yep. And we have about three more minutes until the submissions are <laughs> due for the challenge today. So get your challenges in there. And we have AC4371. That's right. Nice. And here you have, in the screen, it yeah, doesn't look. On the screen, it doesn't look nearly as vibrant. So I used but to. But it's very vibrant here. Yeah. Yee. But then you hack the color. I used to hack it on RGB. Oh, I don't yeah. follow Pantone at 100%. Like, yeah. okay, this is the color I'm gonna print, but this is a, the, my, my... Visually, it's not the color. Yeah, yes. th but this is my goal Optic on printing. Mm -hmm. So I need to choose one for digital. For optical, yes. <laughs> well, lots of submissions are coming in. This is pretty exciting. So, um, like, just down to the wire. Something around here. I like this one. And cool. Then, hey, we're gonna work in different effects option. Sham. Jam. I'd like to know how many options you guys present to your clients in the beginning. Yeah, how many guys? How many? How many? We wanna know. Let's start with more layers now. Do, do, do. Let's see. We call this layer the one. The one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one layer, you know. This is the one. The one. Okay. Paul says two to three. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Let's see, who else? Two to three, Shane says four-ish. <laughs> Depends on the client, but normally way too many options, says JC. Three. I'm gonna create a shadow effect. Cool. Oh, I have an outline there. No, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, Kat has a good point. She says she thinks more than three options will be confusing for the client. More? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's totally right. I agree. It becomes a little bit overwhelming and almost as though you've spent too much time making too many things versus concentrating on the things that matter. One sham is enough. <laughs> <laughs> One jam is enough. All right, you guys have three seconds. So if you haven't gotten in your submissions, ah, <laughs> you'll have to wait until the next session. <laughs> <laughs> Love to see who the wiener is. <laughs> ah, <laughs> cracked myself up. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, thank you, Voodoo Val. That is the deadline. She called it. <laughs> Right. So we are going to go full screen. I don't on. promise they're gonna use the effect option. Whoa! In yeah. The, in the packaging yet, but the idea is to show you how to create pretty great. That's pretty awesome. Effects. By the way. All um, right. So I think we're ready to. Oh man, this is looking very cool. By the way, I love this. I turned away for one second to upload these. <laughs> and uh, I turned back and you're already doing something really wild and cool. Thank you. Um, you're like, oh, thank you. No big deal. <laughs> no, thank you. I appreciate uh, that. No, I know. You're super <laughs> humble and nice. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> That's amazing. I love okay. it. <laughs> this is great because I'm pretty nervous and I just for. We really? many things like so not where, where where are the tools? Oh, <laughs> where's the pathfinder? One oh. more tool. Well, they're all hidden. That's why <laughs> you're key commanding everything. You can't help it. <laughs> all right, I'm going to do one last refresh over here, and uh, looks like we've got all the submissions. Okay, this is the place. most simple effect. Obviously, everybody knows how to do that. It's just like <laughs> duplicating. Duplicating your your logo type uh -huh. and then put it on the background and enlarge the outlines mm -hmm. and enlarge it as much as you want. Yes. Okay. Then, for making something a little bit bit more special, you can make some curves here, make it more regional. Cool. Like this. Okay. So while we're doing that, let's take a look. Actually, let's hold on that for a second. Let's take a look at the submissions. I have two kids, I can work and, and see beside. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris is going to look over these with me and he's going to choose the winner out of all oh. of these. Yeah, I know, the pressure's on now, right? So the first one, it looks like Chris wasn't able to get it on the bottle, but he did submit the logo, so good work, Chris. Okay. Let's see, oh. Anel Henning. Uh, this one looks very cool. It's icy. Mm -hmm. You know, the rendering's interesting in the way that it's got this effect of perspective. And and we have iceberg. a problem. Which one? I'm so mean. <laughs> 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 now nah, I'm gonna be friendly. This is great. Come on. I like the I like the yeah. laser on the on the. <laughs> oh, you have. <laughs> I'm like you. I have a tattoo kind of like that. It's pretty great. <laughs> you get a point. Say, Anel, I you love get it. a point, Anil. Yeah, one point for now. So Hisham. Mm -hmm. This isn't necessarily a water bottle, but I get the idea that he's using a, a corrugated paper pulp mm -hmm. material. This is interesting. And then the hands to hold the earth. Yeah. Yes. Gabriel O'Neill. Oh, this looks very nice. It looks like the rendering was um, cut short, but I can get the sense <laughs> of the idea of like if it were actually to take the time to fully render. It's matte. It would be, yeah, it matte would be effect. beautiful. Matte effect, exactly. <laughs> Yes. Nice. Oh, this mm -hmm. looks great. So um, Joachim did both the logo and the effect, which is awesome. And the render looks really good and crisp. Um, it looks like uh, for pure water, it's got a nice splash going in there. Nice job, Joachim. Oh, I can watch it there. Oh, yeah, you yeah. can watch it there. It, it looks, looks even like... better there, right? <laughs> yeah. So this is Patrick Diaz. Yes, the earth. Yeah, Look, Chris is nice. going to mime out the, the, Mindful, the, <laughs> the imagery. Mindful. Yes, this looks like a frosted or maybe it's aluminum, yeah. but it looks recyclable, which mm -hmm. is good. <laughs> and this is Heinrichus. I'm not going to even try that last one. I mean, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Cascalivicius. Cascalivicius. I think I did it. Yes. <laughs> All right. This is pretty cool. It's um, yeah. it's nice with uh -huh. the orb in the background. It's almost like it's representing Earth. Tyrone Henry. Oh man, Tyrone oh. went crazy. <laughs> Wearing the background. That is awesome. I'm just gonna say you're in it. I mean, there's he an got exploding it. He bottle. He hates my iPad already. <laughs> <laughs> As I do. There's glasses, there's floral waters. And the this water is, going to the iPad. Yeah, this is everything. <laughs> yeah. Nice work, dude. 
Everybody, I love it. And then oh, Alexandra Biquette. Nice. Wow, that's really cool. It's kind of gothic in a way, but it has Earth Day on the ground mm -hmm. and 3D lettering and yeah. very like. That's like a big black render. Light party. Yeah, that's that a, is a big render. That's a big render. Yeah, look at all the splash. That's really cool. That's actually really a lot of work in a very short amount of time. Yeah. Nice job, Alexander. And they are not under pressure. No, no pressure. <laughs> wow, this is really beautiful. Oh, yeah. I love that Miriam one. Miriam Kianjam. This is great. Marian Kianjam. Yeah, it looks like earth water. Very fresh uh -huh. and crystally and icy. Great render as Oh, it's well. earth juice. Uh -huh. nice. nice, juice from the earth. Yeah. Esther Freda Safran. When you need water most because you're in the desert. I like this. It's kind of like a juxtapose. It's like, ha, are you really thirsty? Well, you are now. <laughs> Why there's a billboard in the middle of the desert? <laughs> because you need to buy that water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Well done. Walter Fria Filo. Ah. Oh, no, that's Looks great. Looks like Walter was watching earlier when we chose a bottle that was yeah. also floating in water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's really light. It's yeah. light water. That's light water. water. Floating water. Chami soda. Oh, Patrick Mi Diaz did too. Cool. Earth Day Every Day Clean <laughs> Water Initiative. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like this. It's very safe by the With bow. Rammstein yeah, in the with background. Yeah, with Rammstein. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Water. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, Michael Zitterkopf. Nice. I like nice. this. I love the low type. Yeah, I do sense. too. I like that he's taking some inspiration mm -hmm. from watching that's you friendly, while you're doing. approachable. Yeah. yeah that's this nice. is great. There's a lot of really great ones, you guys. Follow the money, Chris. <laughs> Billboard in the middle of the desert. <laughs> Tim Nyberg <laughs> said. Oh, too funny. So Tanya Becker, um, she has a very simple bottle and it's nicely rendered. Mm -hmm. This is great, you guys. Wow. Ah, that's it. So that means mm -hmm. doo -doo, that you have to choose. So tough. I got one. You can point on my screen at any moment. You're in the line. You're I'm in the, the wall. This You're in one? The wall. In the middle. This that one? That's one. Yeah. All right. So it looks yeah, like our winner one. is Miriam Kianjam. There's a reason why of that. Yes. Tell us why. The render is pretty great. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the logo type looks tidy and yeah. looks pretty professional indeed. Totally. The effect on the, on the glass. A sphere, it's pretty nice, looks nice and mm -hmm. shows some clearness. And I think it's it's pretty nice. The only concern is about the shadow on the bottle, but that's just a detail. I, I really yeah. like it. I think Yeah. It, the lighting's great. She yeah. did a really great job yeah. rendering the lighting. Because mm -hmm. that's I think one of the hardest parts. Miriam Cam Jam. Yeah. Great We're on job, jam. Miriam Cam Jam Jam Sham Jam. Jams about jam, music jam, jam. Jam. Mary Yam Jam Sham. Yeah, I, love I like it. that. I love this. Her name yeah. rhymes with, you know, Sham. Rhyme Yes! <laughs> <laughs> You're doing it! She's like, yeah! <laughs> I think we need a high five for Miriam. No, high five. Yes! Go, Miriam! You've just won a year's <laughs> worth of Creative Cloud. That's a pretty amazing win. And the nurse keep working right now. Exactly. Yeah. So we'll go back to Chris's computer and see all of the amazing things that he's been doing while I've been goofing off over here. <laughs> so I'm working on these curves. This is just to work on the high end in the tail. Oh, nice. Not to high keep it details. just like this, like Okay, this is what I got when I right. that. just work a little bit to find it. Well, because that wouldn't be what it would look like if you're actually painting it like on the side of a wall somewhere, right? Yeah. You wouldn't have something that sharp. Mm -hmm. Or would you? Yeah. Maybe a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of them you would. And this brand is tricky because it is urban, but it's kind of premium at the same time. Mm. So it's Yeah, because it's pitaya tricky. fruit, so that's yeah. going to be a little bit more expensive than, you know, yep. apple. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Olivier, Miriam got much better than a pillow. She got a year subscription to uh, awesome. Creative Cloud. Yeah. I'm jealous. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I want one. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, great job, guys. Uh, awesome. Pretty Thank cool you, to see everybody. that many uh, renders come through and that many um, submissions. Oh, so that's nice. It's awesome. Oh, yeah, that's looking yeah. good. Yes. So good. So, what do you guys think? This is so much different than the sketch that we saw in the very beginning. I'm really impressed with the amount of uh, time, time that you've <laughs> taken, like which is very little time. I wasn't uh, scared about that actually <laughs> at the beginning. Like, oh, can I accomplish You're all like, this? You're like, will I get it all done? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I 
but we'll find out. <laughs> and this is live. This is live, yes. Oh. This is real life. <laughs> then I'm gonna do an effect. I don't know how to call it. It is kind of a shade effect. Oh, okay, cool. So is that so. why you drew the extra curve on the top of the S? Mm-hmm. All right. Hello, Adash. Hello, Shasham. Voodoo Val. Yeah, she loves it. She's like a internet BFF. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what's happening. <laughs> Olivier says, very great work, Chris. I agree. Oh, sorry. Just, <laughs> I just did a lot of stuff in, in, in my, in, you didn't, you didn't pay attention to my fingers like that. <laughs> and I realized, like, I have to share people these. <laughs> all right, so we're going back over to Chris, and he's going to share his process while yeah. he does all these crazy key commands. Yeah, he's like, I'm so doing a lot of things, but I can't so tell you. So what I just done is... Show us, Chris. Yes. Yes. I'm on, I'm on, a, on a group, mm -hmm. and then I did Pathfinder. And then I and ungroup again, mm -hmm. and then I merge them as a single thing. I okay, call so you it grouped like, it all. Oh, you, you uh, com compounded it. I compounded it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's right. So in, but path, just with shortcuts, in like, Pathfinder, rrr, rrr, rrr. he combined all the shapes mm -hmm. into one. Perfect. Now I'm going to create uh, an effect here with gradients. Gracias, Sebastian. Thank you for joining us. With the gradients, people oh, hate cool. gradients. I love. Oh, gradients. I love gradients. Yeah. Why do people hate gradients? No. Oh, that is sick. It's gonna be great. That's some sick sham. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> so. This is amazing. <laughs> the trick here is to use just exactly the same color mm -hmm. of the logotype in one of the on the spots yeah. on, the, on the on the notes in the gradients. So it's like a, it's almost like a bevel that you're creating yeah. in a way. Very cool. And then yeah. I'm gonna use the purple. I agree with Tim Mobest. People hate bad gradients. That's true, but and it's, it's also not easy to work no, with the gradients. Not easy. And then secondly, though, you have to know your audience. And I think with a soda, mm -hmm. it makes sense. Like you're probably mm -hmm. not gonna put that gradient on, like you know, healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> But soda, however, just begs <laughs> for gradients. Yeah. It's like, I'm cool. I'm rad. Yeah. I need a gradient. <laughs> oh, something important here. It's like, okay, the gradient is in zero degrees, mm -hmm. which is all degrees. And this line, it's in zero degrees. As zero well. degrees, okay. So it's going to merge with the background perfectly. Perfectly, okay. So if uh, I... Kevin's asking how you cut that part out again. Did okay, I'm gonna do it or? again. I, oh, perfect. I just We're gonna, gonna keep do doing this. And, yeah, in, yeah, in all the, in every single. Amazing, and we have about like eight or nine more minutes. So. Okay, perfect. I yeah, can he's do like it. perfect. He's like, I got this. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. <laughs> Silence or Ramstein. Okay. I need Ramstein. <gasps> I can Ramstein just in the background. <laughs> 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 it is more like a Cookie Monster. I've voice. I've actually never heard Ramstein. It, it is so. more like a Cookie Monster voice. Oh, is it? Like absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, <laughs> Cookie Monster impression. I could do more of like a Kermit. Cookie Monster in the floor. I can do more of like a, yo, know, that's amazing. <laughs> cookie. Cookie? Cookies. <laughs> cookie? C is for cookies. That's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I used to go crazy all day long. <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> I can only do Yoda, so I'm like not on the same. I was thinking about it, that I, did, I, I was talking. Designing talk shame, you oh, will. I love shaped <laughs> cookies. Shame's delicious, is it not? This is a delicious locker type cookie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. You, you want to oh, yeah, know? Oh, yeah, he wants to know how you cut this out. So you're making okay, a shape I, around it. I understand. Okay. I just create so. the shape that I wanted the effect. I wanted the effect just <laughs> like that. Just this cookie. Yes. So I just create all the shape. I was sure that end up on mm -hmm. 180 degrees. Perfectly. Which is horizontal. Level. Yes. Yeah. It exceeds everything. You can see the small mm -hmm. guides just in the behind. And then I'm going to copy this. Or duplicate it, yes. just copying on with shortcuts. Ah, uh, yes, and then you combine, I and combine then you them. cut. Yeah, yes. and then I do the pathfinder to unite them, mm -hmm. and then I compose them. 
with common, design, with common egg cookies. <laughs> Sham. <laughs> and then you got it. Huge. It's right there. Amazing. But it is not oh, amazing. This is so, what happened. Oh, yeah, it is not respecting the, 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 the degree there. Yeah, but so you, I'm going to fix it here and put one. Oh, no, 90, 90, 90 degrees. Yeah, perfect. 90 degrees. Well, yeah, that's you great. Got it. Oh, this is awesome. We're going to make this. I love this. Here. This is such a great process. Okay, I'm going to show you another different effect, just right here. <laughs> oh, man. So good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just such a clown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm totally into it. That's good. <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow yeah. we'll have other voices. I'm I have sure. More. Yeah. Do you? I'm sure if you can do Cookie Must, you can probably do Alamo. It's like I used similar, to call, right? I, I used to call my kids, <laughs> mm -hmm. my my older one, because the, the the youngest one is just one year and a half, and calling doing my impersonation Amazing. of Cookie Monster or Alamo. On different characters, and so he, good. He used to love it. Oh, kids would go crazy for that, obviously, because adults are going crazy <laughs> for this. <laughs> yes, yeah, Stephanie says sham cookies. I like this. <laughs> sham cookies. This is beautiful. Look at this. Yeah, it's Ooh, really yes. coming to life. It just looks it's, so different. It's funky with the shadows. Yeah, it's pretty funky. It has such great dimension. I think Michael then, Shepard is like, wow. Yeah, the black outline adds so much, as well as the shadows. Mm -hmm. It yeah. helps to make the contrast on the shadows. If I remove the, the background, it's going to be different. Yeah. Well, it's, it works it's, anyway. It's fine. <laughs> like it's just a little bit more elegant mm -hmm. without the black. With the black, it feels Yeah, but this is powerful. young. This is for 18 yeah, years old kids yeah. who practice kids extreme sport. Yeah, like me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Let's do more of those. Fun. This is great. So we have about a few more minutes here. And um, we're just watching Chris Bernay. He is uh, working on adding shadows, uh, creating some beautiful sham logo type, and talking like Cookie Monster. So yeah. <laughs> join us again. <laughs> There'll be more cookie tomorrow. <laughs> Something. So good. Oh, I used the wrong pathfinder. This one, yeah. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's really lovely, and, and it's interesting. So this one you're going to have come up from the bottom. Mm -hmm. So it's... Different dimensions, so it has this, like, feel yeah, of... Yeah, this is about this undulation. freestyle yeah, style. Yeah, totally. Like, lighting's coming from everywhere. Yeah. Hector says it looks tasty. I agree. I would drink this soda, for sure. Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe even eat the cookies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, you're almost there. So good. Yeah, everyone's like, I have to try this ASAP. Well, the cool thing is, is that if you weren't listening earlier, if you hadn't yet uh, joined us, Chris said that at the end of the week, he's going to upload all of this to Creative Cloud so you guys can have all of his process and the files so you can play with them yourselves. So therefore, you can make your own sham hat, your own sham shirt. Yeah. Even sham frosted cookies. And we open a marketplace for yes. selling the a branded so cool. brand. A branded brand. A branded I like that, brand. yeah. This is looking very wild and awesome. Thank you. Very cool. Yeah, Tim Mo Best. Oh, he changed it to Mo Beast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tim your... is the Mo Beast. <laughs> yeah. It is awesome. Thank you, Chris. So we are wrapping up right oh. now, and uh, thank you again for joining us today with Chris Bernay. We um, have amazing guests all week, so I think Lau is on next with Kathleen, and uh, stay tuned with us because it's going to be a really great couple days. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is the best one. You're going to love oh, this one, and we are that's done. That's so cool looking. On the curve. So cool. Always look good. Oh. Man, this is looking really good. Thank you. Woo! Oh, actually, we have five more minutes left. No way! <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at this effect. Look at this. Oh, wow! Sick. See, this is so great. I was just teasing you guys. <laughs> By the way, we have five more minutes left. Cool. I can do this more. This is amazing. Effects. We can do more. This is beautiful. Yep. Okay. This is perfect. I was just teasing so that we made Chris work faster, so. <laughs> Without awesome. Ramster in the background, yeah. that's not fair. 
Cookies. <laughs> I can't do the Cookie but Monster voice. Cookies. Yeah, exactly. It's Me so Cookie much better. Monster love to work so hard. <laughs> Sham, you did design. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you can do an outline here. I'm gonna works pretty nice. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, yesterday I was watching this a magic dragon. It uh -huh. is from a TV show like this contest, American Got Talent, or oh yeah, one of those. Yeah. so funny. He was doing noises all day <laughs> uh, on on all the show, and I started doing them like, wow, <laughs> so, yeah. Gabriella says she loves your Cookie Monster, so yeah. <laughs> I'm with her. <laughs> Same with Jan. Okay, gonna talk like. Uh, Elmo tomorrow. <laughs> Stay tuned. Come back tomorrow for yeah. Elmo and Sham. <laughs> Murad says he Sorry, likes it. Crazy. <laughs> um, is there a name for this technique? Do you want to make one up? It's called the Sham Cookie. Invent one. Sham Cookie technique. <laughs> <laughs> this is not serious. Anyway, yeah, this blend is the way tool. I work. There we go. This is the way I work usually. <laughs> I'm not pretty sure about yeah. the, the the white. Maybe it works in a different uh, different color. Pinkish. Yeah, maybe a different pink. Yeah, less colors. Just like copy more red. Or, or maybe like know. juxtaposed a little bit. I don't know. But anyway, the white. Oh, you there's know, some really cool like uh, like animation, like Looney Tunes kind of feel in like a yeah. fun way, you know. Uh -huh. But like, which I think is great for the target. I think this is not. It, this this is might not be working. too much. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't feel as good as the. This shading is something does. that looks nicer. Mm -hmm. But I won't use it anyway. Uh, I like it. Still looks this so way. good without. Yeah. Something I don't like is to use black. Yeah. One hundred percent black is not good. Yeah, it's a little intense. Yeah. Mm. Oh, the sham. I play a lot Tim, with low contrast all the time. Tim thinks that the left vertical on the H needs something. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. I have just three more minutes. <laughs> yeah, probably. He's like, three more minutes, Tim, come on. I'm going to fix it, <laughs> maybe for tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. maybe. Kathy says that she agrees with Tim. Oh, man, you better put something on that H or else the fans <laughs> won't come back. <laughs> I'm going to be on honest with you guys. Yeah. I have family and friends in San Francisco, <laughs> and I'm, the last time I've been in San Francisco was seven years and a half ago, uh -huh. so they want me drunk. Oh, man. <laughs> I want so to get tomorrow, drunk anyway. Yeah, so that's going to happen. But they want to see me. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to be working tonight, <laughs> but I'm going to try it. <laughs> that's okay. We're, yeah, what time tomorrow, Tim? Same time tomorrow. Yeah, and I, I have Yeah, friend, 1, 1 p.m. tomorrow. I have friends between San Francisco and Auckland. Auckland is... Amazing. Well, it's a little far away. They are just at the end of Auckland. <laughs> it's great over there. Okay. I say over there, it's not that far. Yes, Tim Mo Beast, same time, same place, all day tomorrow, all day on Thursday. When I say all day, I mean between working hours. <laughs> I lost it. It's very cool to see uh, okay. all the vectors when you outline. <laughs> oh, here you are. So we is have this a another kind of effect? I think we have a like couple a minutes. Do you see the shadow? Oh yeah, shadow looks great. Yeah. Now that is really nice. So I think we got it for now. Yeah. It looks pretty nice. It looks great. Yeah. We got a lot of type. I want to share you and ask you, or not to ask you. Well, we have we about 30 seconds left. So 30 seconds. So 30 seconds. So we might have to see whatever you're going to show us tomorrow. This is, <laughs> this is the way I share. Right. A lot of type. This is how I deliver a lot of type. Amazing. This is a reference. When you're not working on a brand book. Well, tomorrow okay. we're going to look at the rest of this. You. But thank you for joining us today okay. with Chris Bernay. Sorry. And look forward to Kathleen and Lau next. And tomorrow we'll look at Chris's logo process. More cookies. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>